The nurse who hit and killed an Omaha motorcyclist is back in jail tonight for violating her probation. Good evening, I'm Bill Shammert. Brenda Berger initially served just 21 days in jail and two years probation. The crash killed Michael Corcoran on I-480 near F Street. Police found alcohol in Berger's system, but it was below the legal limit. KETV News Watch 7's Josh Cristianto joins us with resentencing and the family's response. Josh? Well, as it turns out, Berger, Berger's probation officer states in court documents that she's not been maintaining her sobriety, going on to say there's nothing further probation can offer. She's now serving nearly a year in jail. For the victim's family, it's bringing a lot of sadness and anger all over again. Three years after Michael Corcoran died in a motorcycle crash in Omaha, his three-and-a-half-year-old son Beckett celebrates Father's Day by opening gifts that he made at school for him at his dad's grave. And that's what he gets. He doesn't get t-ball with his dad. He doesn't get to fish with his dad. He doesn't get his dad to come to his graduation. Police say Corcoran was traveling on I-480 near F Street when he was hit from behind by Brenda Berger, who was on her way to work as a nurse. Police found alcohol in Berger's system, but it wasn't high enough for stiffer charges. Berger ended up serving 21 days in jail with two years probation. Beckett lost the most. He lost the most. And he's paid the most. But you know who's paid the least? Brenda Berger. But Berger's probation hasn't been up to par, according to court documents we've obtained. Her probation officer states she's been, quote, drinking nonstop on a daily basis, won't report to the probation office, or follow through with any treatment recommendations. I felt like that was a gift to be given rehab paid for by the state. And to squander that and walk away and throw it all away again was heartsick. A judge revoked Berger's probation in June, and she was arrested in late July on a $100,000 bond. She's now been ordered to serve 350 days in jail. Corcoran's family says it's still not enough, arguing Nebraska's justice system enables offenders like Berger more than it defends victims. What's next? You know, what, what's going to happen in 350 days? Corcoran died just one day before his 32nd birthday. Berger's nursing license in South Dakota has already been revoked. Back to you. Josh, thank you.